I'm Ryan, you are watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna get you acquainted with the newest battery amp in my life. That's right, this is a battery amp. Look at this thing, it's too pretty to be a battery amp. It honestly looks like it belongs in some sort of photo spread of like a sky rise penthouse apartment with beautiful floor to ceiling windows overlooking like Central Park or the Golden Gate Bridge or something and it's sitting right next to a Peloton. That's how pretty this looks. It looks like it belongs sitting next to a Peloton in a Peloton advertisement in a magazine. But besides looking pretty, this is just a beast and there's a ton of stuff you need to know about it. First of all, the brand is Templo. The model is the Nomad 50 and the 50 represents the wattage. This is a 50 watt battery amp. That is, it is ridiculously overpowered for a battery amp. I've never had a battery amp with so many watts in my life. And I've had a lot of battery amps. Um, and it doesn't stop there. It's got a real speaker in it. It has a 10 inch ceramic speaker designed by warehouse speakers. It also comes in a neodymium option with a Jensen designed speaker. Real 10 inch guitar speakers, guys. This isn't a plastic Bluetooth speaker in this. This isn't, you know, a car audio speaker that got repurposed. This is a guitar speaker in a guitar amp for guitarists that happens to be powered with a battery and it's 50 watts. And there's more, there's more guys. This thing is packed to the gills, just chock full of features that are going to make all the buskers out there so gassy. The gear acquisition syndrome is just going to be off the hook with this thing. Um, and I'm speaking from experience. I have a long history of busking. I busked a lot in my 20s. I had a ridiculous rig that I would haul around with me. I had this rig where it was a uh, it was a moving dolly, a big metal moving dolly, and I put a milk crate at the bottom and put a full-size car battery in the milk crate connected to an inverter that would power two 15 watt solid state practice amps. One amp for my guitar, one amp for a microphone for vocals and singing and whatever else I wanted to do. This thing can replace all of that. No dolly, no car battery needed anymore. Let's get into all the features so you can see what I'm talking about. On the top, you've got two quarter inch input jacks. You can amplify two instruments at the same time. Guitar and guitar, guitar and bass, keyboard and drum machine. The sky's the limit. Whatever you can run through a quarter inch jack, you can run through these at the same time. Level control, 50 watts, guys. This thing gets crazy loud. I'll, I'll dime it so you can hear what that sounds like in this video, but I'm not looking forward to it because it gets loud. Um, tone control, bright on the right, dark on the left. Reverb has a built-in kind of like slap backy sort of small tile bathroom style reverb here. You can assign the reverb to these input jacks and or to the microphone level. That's right, there's a microphone level because there is an XLR jack on the back. Now you can run three things through this at the same time with an independent volume control on the XLR. So if you get an adapter, you could run a, another instrument through here. Or of course, you can run a microphone through it. You can blow through you know, your harmonica, whatever you want to do. Throw that microphone on a cajon, on a kick drum or something like that. This thing is a problem solver. It just is. Then right here, you've got the red colored charger. You plug in the charger to charge the battery, a jack for a foot switch for the reverb, a line out for direct recording or front of house sort of situations. And then something very exciting. I think this is a very smart addition to this amp, a nine volt output jack to power pedals with. And you're probably thinking, oh, okay, sure. That's, that's clever. Nine volts. It's probably like two or 300 milliamps or something like that. It is 3000 milliamps. That is a 3,000 milliamp nine volt plug. You can power so many pedals <laughs> with 3,000 milliamps. That is honestly bonkers. I'm gonna run a pedal board off of that power later on in the video, so stay tuned through that. I'm not gonna run anything that takes 3,000 milliamps, I'll say that. Um, before we get too far into that, I will say I did try to run the HX Stomp off of it and the Line 6 Pod Go. Famously, Line 6 products are pretty finicky about their power and they did not like the power from this amp. So just so I'm up front and you're aware, I was able to power the Zoom Multi-Stomp and this would be a fantastic tool for a busker. Just tons and tons and tons of effects in these and it runs off of that power just fine. And these pedals here run fine off of it 
Otherwise, I wouldn't be showing them. So let's get it running. I need to throw a mic on this so that you can hear it. And then you can hear what this amp sounds like. All right. All set up and ready to go. I have it mic'd up with my Cascade Fathead Ribbon Mic, the same mic I use on all my amplifiers, set up the same way that I record all my amps. I'm gonna use my Harmony Silhouette here because I like it and I miss it. I wanna play this guitar. Is there a better reason to play a guitar? I don't think so. Let's flick this thing on. You know what, I'll do that again. Crank the reverb and really hear that kind of clanky splash it does. <laughs> That's fun. Bring it back down. Here is the bridge position pickup. Here is the neck. Check out the range of a few things on here. There's not a lot to go through. The tone control, you turn it all the way up. And to me, it sounds like a fairly normal, kind of Fender-ish, edge of twangy, kind of bright amp. It's not ice pick bright, it doesn't get incredibly bright, but it seems like this is a low pass filter, meaning all the way up is just kind of open, it's not actively pushing brighter, but then you roll it back and it gets a lot darker. Honestly, kind of jazzy. Go all the way dark here. It gets so dark that honestly, I think it could be used as a bass amp. That's right, a 50 watt battery powered bass amp. Uh, I don't have a bass, but I have a baritone here, the Squire uh, Paranormal Baritone. I've rolled back the tone control. I've got it on the neck P90 pickup. And let's see how this thing sounds. Oh, I've got to roll the volume up too. We'll pull the reverb out for now, or most of the way out. Totally. You could see this working as a bass amp, right? You'd have to share the other jack and the tone control with a guitarist <laughs> if you were working as a you know duo or something like that. But I think it's totally serviceable as a low-end amplifier. But that dark tone is probably a little bit, a lot bit too dark for most guitar sounds. We'll leave it right about there for the rest of the video, unless I feel like changing it. Or maybe I'll leave it bright. I kind of like it bright. <laughs> all right, the reverb now. I mean, you turn it all the way to the left, it's off. Totally dry. Turn it all the way up. It's not some sort of over-the-top, spacious, ambient, shoegazy sort of reverb, but it's enough splash and enough kind of space to really kind of fill you out a bit, make you sound more natural. If you're in an environment that doesn't have any reflective surfaces, which can be fairly common if you're busking, um, I think it's just the right amount of reverb. Even dimed up like that, I usually run it kind of about there. Is a, is a nice pairing. I think they put a nice reverb on there. You can switch it to be on the instrument jacks or on the mic or on both. The microphone, let's do that. 
you just plug it in, start turning it up, and there you go. You got yourself a little PA, you could sing, you could talk, you could put the mic on an instrument, whatever you need to do, you could beatbox, you could throw reverb on there, sound like you're in a sports stadium. Goal! 2,000 points for the underdog. Sports references. I have no idea. <laughs> of course. Ugh. <laughs> I haven't played harmonica in a long time. But clearly, the functionality is there. If you play harmonica, and you busk, you play guitar at the same time, it's a no-brainer. It's sitting right there, guys. It's a microphone, guitar, keyboard, bass, whatever you want, amplifier that powers off a battery. Let's try out turning it up. Oh man, I'm anxious about it. I don't wanna blow my ears out. So we're just gonna do it real quick. Um, it gets really loud. It doesn't get like compete with a full drum kit loud, but it gets completely cranked 10 inch speaker loud. I'd say it gets louder than my Princeton's for sure. Um, what it does when it gets all the way loud is up for debate because solid state amps are not known for, you know, sounding great when you crank them. They're not supposed to be dimed. They're supposed to be clean machines. This does get a bit of a honky grit to it. There is a bit of distortion going on. It might be speaker distortion. I don't know, but I don't hate it. I'm looking forward to hearing it recorded. I'll say that. So I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to adjust my recording levels and then uh, we'll discuss it in the comment section. it sounds bad. I like how honky and crispy it is. It doesn't sound like a tube amp being driven, but damn is it loud. Um, it kind of, it kind of holds its cleanness right until about there. But man, I, <laughs> I don't see a reason to use it that loud. If you're using it that loud for busking, you are probably crossing the line into being a public menace. I'll say that. All right, let's talk about powering a pedal board. Thankfully, it comes with this long ass nine volt cable here. Uh, I'm gonna get it all set up. I have to change cameras and amp position and stuff like that. Okay. Pedal board is powered up and ready to go. I've got the JHS fuzz. I'm a big fan of that fuzz. The tube screamer, because people are just, they're gonna wanna know how this thing sounds with a common pedal like a tube screamer hitting it. It's really common to use tube screamers. So that's why I selected it. Uh, I've got a drippy springy reverb and a tremolo provided by the Milkman S-Stop right here. And then at the end, the Donner circle looper, which actually provides drum beats, drum loops if I want them. And I think that's a great addition to a busking rig, I really do. So let's get into it. We'll start with the fuzz because you know me, I love fuzz. Thank you. 
All right, the tube screamer now. Bring the volume down a bit. Pull the reverb out all the way. Not really my choice for an overdrive. I usually don't like Tube Screamers, but now you know what it sounds like. Drippy, springy reverb from the F-stop. Something that's very important to me. Tremolo. I've got a little loop preloaded on here, uh, like an open D blues jam sort of thing. You know what? To show off that I can run two instruments at the same time, I'm gonna have the looper run into the amp there, and then the guitar is running direct into the amp there. All this stuff right here is not in the mix. Sorry, Zoomers. I was doing a little blues there. A little blues jam. Don't tell Joe Bonamassa I'm inching in on his territory. <laughs> you know what? Might as well throw the microphone into the mix as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to jam harmonica while this thing is playing, but I'll try. <laughs> Well, I did my best, <laughs> but that shows that it works. Three things all at the same time running through one 50 watt battery powered amplifier that can also power a pedal board. It's just a beast. This whole thing, this is a kit all by itself. It's two amps, it's a PA, it's a battery pack for your pedals. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm honestly super impressed with the whole design of the thing. So I wanna know what you think. Do you have things to say about this amp? Do you have questions about it? You can hit me up or you can hit up Templo directly. Um, I like it. I'm excited to use this around my house. I'm excited to busk with it someday. Someday, depending on how the future goes. And you know what? Yeah, I'm just impressed with it. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. You know the whole deal. If you're naked, buy a shirt. Click all the links. And you know what? Stay grounded. Bye, everybody.